I'm grateful that I, she is alive. Um, a year ago, that was questionable. What a story we're about to tell you. It's been almost one year since the blizzard of 22. And for one Fall River woman, she says it was been the hardest year of her life. From a car accident that put her in a coma to a house fire where she just lost everything. What an ordeal. And one year later, she is making a miraculous recovery. The night team's Molly Levine joins us live in the studio with the exclusive interview. Molly? Yeah, Dan and Patrice, it's almost a story that seems unbelievable. Emily Dodona got a second chance at life, but she says she's still recovering every single day. I was just getting out of work, so I was headed home. January 23rd, 2022. <sighs> Life changed for 27-year-old Emily Dodona while she was driving along Route 24 near Brockton. I was rear-ended and then they said that I was concussed, so I guess I get out of my car for whatever reason and then I got hit by another car, like my body actually got hit. Emily was hit by a suspected drunk driver who then left the scene. It sounds weird, but I wish I remembered the accident. She was in a coma for a month and a half. I don't understand how someone can go through that big of a car accident and not remember anything. I don't know if it's like my body protecting me. I'm not sure. Six days after she was hit. Wow, <laughs> I'm about to cry about it right now, to be honest. The Fall River apartment she lived in burnt to the ground. It caught fire the night of Blizzard 22. She lost everything. That was my first apartment. There's so many memories that come with that. Like my first time buying a couch, my first time getting a bed set. She saw it for the first time in June. My heart broke. Um, cause you can hear that your apartment burned down, but when you see it, that was a lot. One year later, Emily is making incredible strides towards recovery. She's slowly walking again and able to do her laundry and even beginning to work towards her goal of becoming a nurse by studying for the NCLEX. Emily was one semester away from graduating nursing school when she was hit. I'm grateful that I, she is alive. Um, a year ago, that was questionable. But she says the mental recovery is the hardest part. When I was 19 years old, I got my full-time job. I had my health insurance. I worked all the time. Um, I felt like I was doing everything right. So where I am now, it hurts. I'm sorry. She says it's a long road to recovery, but appreciates all the support and help she's gotten along the way. I gotta give credit to my mom, of course, and my family, and my dad, um, but even the Fall River firefighter wives, oh my gosh, like the amount of clothes and support that they gave my family and myself. Hoping more healing comes in 2023. My New Year's resolution was to be more patient with myself because I'm always trying to get back to the way I was because that's all I remember. And Dan and Patrice, Emily is having brain surgery on February 14th. She appreciates all the prayer, support, and donations. There's a GoFundMe set up for her. It's on our website, turntoted.com. Molly Levine, live for in studio for NBC 10 News. What an